Jessica. And I'm Marley. And we are Marley Baby Do It. Hey ladies, this is your girl Jessica with Miley Made Me Do It and I am here with a new video. So before I forget the name of this, because I had to look it up, <laughs> this is the Little Lizard King Benicia pattern. I think I said it right. Now nah, I may not get it right later on, so I'm gonna have, probably have to go over here to this YouTube and find out like how you pronounce it again, but it's Benicia. Okay? Alright, remember that. So this is <laughs> This is super cute. cute. Y'all know I love to sew with knit. I like to sew with woven too, but most of the time I like to knit. You know what I'm saying? So cute knit pattern. Um, it has um, a few options, a few different options. This uh, it, You can do a top or you can do the dress version. I'm going to be doing the dress version. Bell sleeves with the cuff and the cowl neck. Okay, so that's what I'm doing today. But... If you want to, you can just do a just a regular, you know, the dress with a regular sleeve and the cow neck, or you can do the top with the regular sleeve, cow neck. Like you can just mix and match this stuff all together, okay? Um, um, so like I said, this is knit. Oh, another thing, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go and do that real quick because, like I said, your girl got time and. I like to, you know, I like to, well, I ain't gonna say I like to mess up, but most of the time it's like I mess up so y'all don't have to. I know sometimes it can get a little confusing, so I like to just go through, look at it, mm, figure it out, so then y'all ain't gotta go through all that hard labor, child. Mm -mm, I never got time for that. So, let me tell you what we have, and go subscribe to my channel. Anyway, alright, so I have the front, um, front dress, front dress piece, cut on the fold, the back piece cut on the fold two bell sleeves okay you're gonna need that i got two cuff pieces um yeah two cuff pieces and this is my cow neck um my cow neck band i have a pin um here um on on my cow neck because this is the front this right here reminds me that this is the front of my cow neck okay I've also took my uh, marking pen and I've went and I marked the center here of my pieces and the center of my of my sleeve and my neck for the front and back okay so I went already and went ahead and did that already so I won't have to be looking for it cuz ain't nobody got time for that so let's get started Okay, I want to get started by constructing my skirt piece. This would be the same method if you're doing the, the uh, not the skirt, it's a dress, the top. Okay, so we're going to open it just like this. All right, and I'm, this is my back, and I'm going to take my front, and we're going to put them right sides together. Okay? Right sides together, so I'm going to move this back so. All right, and we're going to pin and sew our shoulder seams together. We're going to be using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Using a stretch stitch. It's just do You can just straight up use a serger, zigzag stitch, whatever stitch you want to use. Do that. And then... So I got those pinned and we're going to do the side seams. I mean, the, yeah, the sides. So we're going to do this for the other side also. Alright, so I have my dress piece. As you can see, I sewn the side seams and the, um, the shoulder seams. So I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to work on our bell sleeve. All right, so I have my dress piece pinned, show, um, side seams and my shoulder seams here, okay? So we're gonna take this and we're going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, so now let's start, if you're doing the cuffs, let's start on your cuff, your cuff, cuffs um, pieces. All right, so here is my cuff. Make sure I got that right. Make sure I got it right. All right, so here's my cuff pieces. I already have this right here um, folded, but 
the reason why because you know you're gonna have to fold your cuff piece um width wise in half okay so you're gonna fold it right sides together make sure that matches this one baby because honey your girl hat is off okay <laughs> make sure the stretch is that way okay so yeah stretch that way okay so we're gonna fold it in half width wise and we're gonna fold it again boom again boom just like that and we're going to pin this side seam here together Make sure we're matching it up. I tend to not have it matched up sometimes. But I don't try to be perfect and sewing most of the time. Alright. A pin. And we're going to take this to our machine. And we're going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach. I'm also going to bring in my bell sleeve here. And what I'm going to do is right sides together. I've already like put me a little notch right there to show me that that's my center center piece. And right sides together, we're going to pin this seam here all the way down. Okay, so we're gonna take our bell sleeve pieces and our cuffs we're going to here's something i found on the web according to wikipedia.org piece goods were the textile materials sold and cut pieces as per the buyer specification i hope it's okay to ask i'm just really curious i'll be able to be more helpful if i get to know your voice that way i know who's speaking is that something you're interested in i ain't even asked you to start talking ma'am i'm doing a youtube video I gotta turn you off. Y'all, my bad. Hold on. That was weird. Y'all, this new technology, baby, honey, they just be interrupting stuff. I think she just want to be YouTube famous. But if it make me famous, then I'm down. I think she can come around as often as she need to. But <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my machine. And I'm going to sew a 3 8 this seam loud on this. Okay, using a stretch stitch. And so these babies up too. These are my cuffs. Okay, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, let me get my life together. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So a 3 inch seam allowance using a stretch stitch to attach both my bell sleeve pieces and my cuff pieces. And also, while I am at my sewing machine, I am going to, after I'm done, attaching them i'm going to sew a gathering stitch along this edge here along my opening and that right there is for me to gather the bell bell sleeve to go into this but you'll see that when i get back i'm just letting you know the little steps that i'm taking off camera so so do a gathering stitch here so then we can you know gather it up to fit this and i'll be back Alright, so now we're going to bring in our, our cow neck piece here. And like I said earlier, I just put a pin here because I wanted to let myself know that this is the front and this is the back. I don't know why, I just, I, I may forget sometimes, so that's why I wanted to do it. So we're going to open our cow neck piece here open and we're going to fold it right sides together. Just like this, and we're gonna pin. We're gonna use a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. And I'm also, like I said, I also made sure that I did a put that back in. A little did I? I did, but I guess with this fabric being so dark, it didn't show up right. So, did a little mark here. Letting me know that this is my centerpiece. Bloop, bloop. Like, she just thought, just running her mouth. 
Bloop, bloop. Just like that. Okay. So let's go sew that and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Let's bring in our cuff piece. I'm going to turn that right side out. Just like this. Alright, so I got my, my two cuff pieces and then I've got my bell sleeve here. And I am going to see if I already like went ahead and did the the uh the gathering on it. So right now my bell sleeve here it is turned on the wrong side. My wrong side is out. I'm going to take my cuff piece here and I'm going to stick it inside and it's gonna be right sides together, okay. So I have my cuff piece here. Let me get my pins and come on this other side. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my cuff piece here and I'm going to match it up with this side seam, but I'm putting it in the inside here, okay? Matching those side seams up and I'm going to pin. All right, and now, I am just going to take my cuff, my my uh my sleeves, my my gatherings here, and I'm going to make it match the cuff same here. I'm just going to pull those two together. Uh oh, hold on. Yeah, pull it together and try to make it fit. Okay. All right, that looks like that'll be good. So now just pin this together. I'm gonna to do the same thing with my other sleeve. do our other sleeve and we're going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach okay so let's take this time machine and we're going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach our cuff pieces and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. All right, so I have my sleeves, my bell sleeves, well, my cuffs attached to my sleeves here. If you can see that. So now let's bring in our, we're gonna put this to the side real quick. We're gonna bring in our uh, dress piece. So now, here's my dress. All right, here's my dress piece here. I'm gonna grab my pins because I left them somewhere. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna turn my, um, I'm gonna turn my dress piece wrong side out. All right, got my dress piece wrong side out here. And I'm gonna get my bell, one of my bell sleeves and I'm gonna um, put it um, attach it. So take your bell sleeve here. We're going to put it inside, right sides together, inside, and we're going to put it in our sleeve hole. Alright. So we're going to pin. First, I'm going to pin. Get my center here. I know that's my center. And I'm going to match that up with my shoulder seam here. My underarm seam is going to match here. And I'm just going to make it fit. Just 
stretch it a little bit to make it fit. We'll do the same step for our other sleeve. I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach using a stretch stitch. Okay, so I have those pinned. Now let's take this to our machine. We're gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach and I will show you what it looks like when I get back. All right, so I've got my sleeves attached. Got my sleeves attached. This is super cute. Love that. Now I am going to start on, I still need the hem down here and I'll get to that. Um, in a minute, but um, now we're going to start with our cow neck. All right, so I've quartered off my neck, my neckline here. Okay, so what you'll do is I found the center here, uh, center front and back. I marked, pull those two together, and I just smooth this out. And whatever that baby lay is, is my quartering. Okay, and then go to the other side, smooth it out. Bam, hit that. So I've already quartered off. I had a little issue with some of them because of the dark places on there, but it's cool. Okay, so now bring this to the side here. Okay, so now I got my cow neck here. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna turn this right side out, but halfway. So you see, I am going to Turn it right side out, but match my seams up here. My raw ends are going to be touching. Okay? So let's see. You see? Just like that. But we're going to make sure that it's even all the way around. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay? So I just did it halfway. And as you can remember, this is my front. This seam here is my back. All right. Front and my back. So now let's bring in my top here. Put this to the side a little bit. Bring in my top. So I'll bring in my top here. Make sure you can see it. Hope you can see it. All right, look a little wonky. Look a little funky. Still trying to figure out how to get this camera to go check. Okay, so. All right, so if you want to try to find the center, front, and back, you notice right here, this thing here, all right, is my center. And you'll just take it and smooth it out. And this right here is my front, okay? So because I already know what my back is, I'm just going to start with my front here. All right, so hold on, let me take this out because I need to do this wrong side out. Turn your dress side, dress wrong side out. All right, all right, so I got my dress. Turn wrong side out. We just, I got it right here just showing on the neckline. All right. Found my center front and center back. I'm going to start with my center front. And I'm going to take my neck piece here, my cow neck piece, and I'm going to match it with that mark here for my center front. All raw pieces, raw um, pieces together. Okay, boom. Then I'll find my center back piece of my cow neck. It's going to be in the inside so let me stick it in the inside so y'all can see okay so right sides together this is my back it's going to be touching the seam here is going to be touching that back piece the back that I uh, marked okay all right so I got those two now we know that our 
um, what's it called? our quarter pieces is right here, okay? So what the, what the pattern tells us is to just slightly stretch, I don't know, slightly stretch so it can fit. All right, get that together. So I'm gonna slightly stretch it and boom, and I'm gonna pin here, okay? Do the same thing for the other side. I'm hoping you can see this. All right, that's my front. There's my back piece. Here's, where's that dang gonna count me? There it go, right there. All right. Front and back piece, and we're gonna slightly stretch it. You see it's starting to stretch out a little bit. And I see my little spot, and I'm gonna pin it right there. Make sure I get all of my raw ends there. Now, if you wanna put some more in between that, Stretch it out a little bit and pin it again. Oh, okay. You want something there? All right. No problem. Hit you right there. So you can just do that all the way around. Just slightly stretch it, making sure that you're getting all of your, your raw ends here. Because you saw that when that thing slipped and dipped, baby. And then I was going to be real mad. Like, really? <laughs> so, okay. Boom. Alright, now, I got my cow neck all pinned. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I'm going to show you what that baby look like when it get back. Okay, when I get back. Oh, alright ladies, we are done. This is, once again, um, Jessica with my that made me do it. I just got done showing you guys how to um, sew the Benicia pattern. I did the cow neck with the with the bell sleeves super cute i did the dress version benicia 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 okay so i probably won't remember it again after this but this is what i did and it's super cute i have to um i'm gonna take a picture with miley in it i love it so much um if you have not subscribed to my channel Go ahead, click that subscribe button, and click the notification bell so then you can, guys can get notified when I do a new video. Um, I love you guys. I thank you so much. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Oh, hey, I appreciate y'all so much, okay? Oh, yeah, I did hear it. I hear the bottom of it, so you got to hear it, okay? <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all that. But, yes, super cute. Um, I will link the dress pattern down below and yeah y'all go check it out so love you guys see ya